Hi, it's Roger Edwards of rogblog.com. I just wanted to make a quick video in response to a question that I had about the video I posted on rogblog.com yesterday. It came from Rog Macbeth, who is one of my fellow students with Alex Jeffries' uh, training program, uh, Marketing with Alex 2.0. Rod asked me which software I used to make the video. And the answer rod is Camtasia version 3. I have a version of uh, a copy of that which I got two or three years ago when Cam uh, TechSmith, who market Camtasia, were uh, releasing uh, down level versions with free license keys. And that's what I used. But it occurred to me that um, something which has got mentioned once or twice in uh, the forum that we have for our students. Uh, is a, a piece of software which a lot of people will be familiar with but perhaps others haven't come across it yet and that is called Cam Studio Pro and that is what I'm actually using to record this video today uh, we'll just wait for the pop-up to go and then we can see this sales page now I, I could talk about this for a long time because internet marketers got to thank Dave Gwyndon who developed this because he's just stuffed so many features into this. It doesn't do everything that Camtasia does but pretty nearly everything and when you consider that it's available at a tenth of the price then it's just got to be a complete bargain. Dave has not only done a fantastic technical job he's also an internet marketer so you can see that he understands you, know, you only need to look at his sales page here to understand that he knows that video is something which you can use to monetize your websites and this just sings through in everything that he's put on this page interesting point here um, he refers to free camp studio there is a version, well let me put it like this, Cam Studio Pro emerged from uh, an open source project which is still out there which is called Cam Studio. Now I haven't used that, um, it's still being maintained in some way shape or form and I'm not going to badmouth it because I, I think open source software is extremely good and I use a lot of it but I know that there were some issues with uh, questions of compatibility with certain browsers which led to problems and uh, I know that that was one of the things which Dave wanted to address and you can see he's, he's actually taken it on straight head on in this sales page I'll let you read it and decide for yourself but he's also incorporated all sorts of things for internet marketers uh, for example the ability to add Google AdSense, you know, what a boon. The ability to embed things uh, in web page, to, to a little piece of design to help you do that. Uh, conversion between one video format and another. All sorts of different things, lots of different styles for buttons and that kind of stuff. And I'm not even halfway down the sales page, which I'm scrolling down here. Um, he tells you how to use it to put videos on YouTube, uh, like this one, and eBay and various other, uh, you know, there's just so much stuff. His videos are extremely clear. He knows how to talk to people who are not perhaps real experts on technical stuff. So, you know, I could thoroughly recommend it from all of those points of view. As I say, Camtasia costs $300 or thereabouts, I believe. Uh, this costs a tenth as much. I will say there are a couple of things which I'm not quite so keen on, uh, having just used the two of them one day after another and, and been reminded of that. The first is that you can see my mouse here as I move it around, you can see the yellow circle around it, so you can see where my mouse is. With Camtasia, now I don't know, there may be a way of doing this in Cam Studio Pro, I haven't found it yet. If, if you know, please let me know, please comment on my blog because I'd love to know if you can do this. But if you click the, the mouse button, uh, you don't see anything with Cam Studio Pro. With Camtasia, you see a little pop of the yellow circle around uh, around the, uh, the mouse pointer, or at least you can configure it that way. That's one thing which I think is quite nice. The other thing, which is a really minor gripe, is that when you set up Camtasia, 
uh, at least the version that I have, you can define the area of the screen that you're going to record and you can set that up and then when you're ready, you're prepared about what you're going to say and anything else that you need is on the screen and ready to go, you can then press record and you're off. With this, at the point where you uh, define the screen area that you are recording, when you let go of the mouse, when you're dragging and dropping to define that area, that's the point at when the recording starts. So you have to be ready to go, you have to have your ducks in, your row, in a row and be ready to go. Aside from that, I mean it's such a bargain that I would strongly recommend that anybody is interested in using video for internet marketing and of course we all should be now, should be looking at this. So. Um, if you found this useful, please leave a comment on the blog to let me know. Uh, if you've got any tips about how to use Cam Studio Pro, then I'd really like to hear some of those because I'm sure there must be features of it that I'm not using. Uh, and uh, I look forward to those comments and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. So take it easy.